Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. Hello, you two. Why the long faces? We have to do a school project about the countryside. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. But it's the weekend. We should be having fun. Why not make it fun? That's what I do. Whenever I have to do a job I don't like, I always try to find a way to make it fun. You can't make schoolwork fun. Of course you can. Here, I'll show you. Ah, here we go. General knowledge. Perfect. In here, I have a couple of homemade buns. Each time you get a question right, you take a step forward. First one to reach Little Red Tractor gets a bun. Easy peasy! I'll win! Oh, no, you won't! OK. Are you ready? Ready! What animals on a farm provide wool for clothing? Sheep! <laughs> one step forward for Amy. Hey, that's a huge step. Question two for Ryan. What do you call someone who works the land? A farmer! Correct. One pace forward. My question now. Where does milk come from? Cows! Yeah, Ryan! But I've still got a question left. Well, that was the last question in that section. But I think you both did well enough to earn your reward. Yeah! We now have to try and get photographs of all your answers. We can photograph you, Stan. You're a farmer. Well, not today. Today I'm the question master. What about Mr Jones? Come on. Let's go see if he's in. No, oh, this is just too difficult. Hello, Mr Jones. Problem with Big Blue? What? Oh! Ah, hello. Hi. Slight scratch from the accident. Accident? Years earlier. But I'm more concerned... Are you OK? Fine. Fine. Um, actually, it could have been a lot worse. I was driving along, you see, carefully watching the road like a good driver should, when from out of nowhere comes water, singing away, blatantly not paying attention to the road. And then in here's Stumpy, with the usual level of control. If it wasn't for my quick thinking... Stop! Stop! Look out! Well, I'll tell you, it could have been very nasty. You don't say. Oh, yes, I do. Still, more pressing matters at hand. Wellington boots. I have to go to Babblebrook to get some new ones. The problem is, what colour? Yellow! Red! Red's best! Blue would match your tractor. Of course! Excellent! If they were yellow, you'd never lose them. Hmm, true. Oh, I don't know. Well, we'll leave you to it to make up your own mind. But before we head off, any chance we could take your picture? It's for our school project. Of course! How about here? Thanks, Mr Jones. See you later. Pleasure. Cheerio. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Hiya, Stumpy. You can take Nip around to the workshop. Nicola's ready for him. Radio. Oh, and water. Uh, can I have some toffees? No problem. Hello, you lot. Hi, Walter. Are you OK after the accident? Oh, that? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, fine, yeah, yeah. Now, that was a close one, you see. I was, um... Yeah, that's it. I was, um... I was driving along really concentrating. I mean, you never know what's round in the next corner. Well, from out of nowhere comes Mr Jones with something over his face. Then, along comes Stumpy. And he was all over the shop. What was I to do? I had to think fast. Stop! Stop! Look out! It was very close. But it could have, uh... It could have been nasty. Very nasty indeed. Hmm. Well, that's slightly different to how Mr Jones remembers it. <laughs> oh, here's Stumpy. Um, I'd better go get his toffees. We heard about the accident. Oh, yeah, that was a close one. Lucky I acted so quick. You acted so quick? Yeah. I was driving along very carefully, see, just like normal, when from out of nowhere comes Mr Jones, reading a paper, not looking where he's going at all. And then... Walter suddenly appears. Must have been one of his faves on the radio. Well, I had to think fast. Stop! Stop! Look out! It was very close. 
Oh, and I managed to lose my hat too. But it could have been nasty. I just wish I could find my hat. We'll have a look for you. We've already got to go and look for a few things for our photographs. Yeah, we'll find it. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> One bag of toffees. Oh, 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 oh. oh thanks. Hmm. Something doesn't add up. What do you mean? Well, look at the marks. They only happen when you put the brakes on really hard. But there's three sets of marks. Exactly. Mr Jones said he stopped first. So did Walter and Stumpy. But it looks like they all had to brake really hard. At, at the, the same, same time. time. You're good at this. Now, if we can work out which of these tracks was left by Nipper, we can start looking for Stumpy's hat. Nipper's a lot smaller than Big Blue and Sparky. That must be them there. Then Stumpy's hat would have gone this way. I can't see it. No, but look. Hoof prints! Veronica! The question is, where is she? We should follow the hoof prints. Let's go. It's not Veronica. But we do need a photo of a sheep. Come on, the hoof prints go on further. I don't believe it. Veronica! <laughs> well, very nice. I would have got purple myself. Just the chaps. Do you find it? Well, we went to the accident site. We had to do some detective work. We had to follow the clues. The funny thing is, the clues don't match up with the stories you all told. <sighs> <clears throat> we believe that, just like Walter and Stumpy said, Mr Jones was driving down the road trying to read a magazine. What? <laughs> when Walter drives in, he's singing along to the radio. I... And not looking where he's going... Then Stumpy drives in on Nipper... He's completely out of control. All three reached the T-junction. Luckily, everyone managed to stop. Although you all should have been driving a lot more carefully. Uh, sorry. I told you a fib. I was a little embarrassed because you're right, I, I should have been driving more carefully. And, uh, well, I was distracted by the Wellington boot catalogue. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry too. Uh, I was driving too fast and not wearing my crash hat. You should be more careful. I think you were all very lucky. Yeah, uh, very true. Oh, oh, thinking about ads. I don't suppose with your great detective work you managed to detect my old cloth hat? Yep. Veronica was wearing it. Little Red Tractor helped us find it. Oh, thank you all. <laughs> Here, have some toffees as a reward. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Here's a good question. What do you think the most important piece of equipment is to a farmer? Beats me, that's a taffy. I know! Ah, got it. Mr Jones, is it his Wellington boots? <laughs> no, afraid not. Me! Pick me! Now, uh, yes, Stumpy? Is it his hat? <laughs> no. Come on, Stan! OK, Ryan and Amy. His tractor! <laughs> mm, could you be a little more precise? Little Red Tractor! Correct! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Stan. We'll have that run over here. Right you are, Mr Jones. <laughs> hey, looks like Little Red Tractor's looking forward to this concert of yours. Just glad to be able to do my bit for the village, Stan. Uh-huh. Probably get your picture in the paper, too. What exactly are you going to do with the money from the ticket sales? Yes, um, well, I... <laughs> well, come along, Stan. That stuff's not going to climb on stage by itself, is it? Excuse me, Stan. Um, hello? Well, I... But I, I mean... Now, now hold on. You listen to me. He hello? Hello? Oh, this is a disaster. Bad news? They're pulling out. Heavy chickens say they can't play my concert after all. Oh, dear. All that hard work for nothing. Oh, that lovely money 
gone. Well, I suppose I'd better start getting the gear back into Little Red Tractor's trailer. <laughs> Hang on. You've heard Walter and his band. I bet they'd love to do the concert for you. Well, they're not exactly in the same league as Heavy Chicken, are they? Well, I reckon just as many people round here would like to come and hear them play. Well, no. Well, all right, Stan. Let's see what Walter has to say. Hello, Stan. Hello, little red tractor. Hi, Nicola. Is Walter about? <laughs> I think that answers my question. He found an old generator at the scrapyard and he's trying to get it going. Not having much luck, no. I think the engine's had it. Uh, Walter, how would you and Nicola fancy doing a concert? You what? Mr Jones was going to put on a concert in his barn. Yeah, I know. Heavy Chicken. I've been looking forward to that. Yes, well, Heavy Chicken have let him down. I said you might be willing to take their place. Me? Us? Oh! That, that'd be great, Stan. Oh, yeah, Rocky Water and the Wolverines are gonna gig again. Does Stumpy know? Not yet. I thought I'd ask you first. But we'll go and ask him right now. Oh, and I tell you what, I hear Mr Turvey's quite handy with a keyboard. Shall I ask him too? You betcha! Hmm, no. I wonder if this goes in... <laughs> oh. uh, Mr Jones? Mr Jones? Ah! <laughs> I didn't hear you there! The, the noise from the speakers! Skip Shutter from High Magazine. Sorry! I said I'm from High Magazine. I've come to take some pictures. Pictures? Of me? Of course. And you could even take one or two of the concert. Yes. So perhaps we could start with a few pictures of the barn before the crowds arrive. Yes, yes, of course, Mr Shutter. Snap away. Well, let's hope Stumpy's at... Wow! Stumpy, are you all right? <laughs> Never better. <laughs> well, that's a relief, because you're needed at Mr. Jones's concert. Me? Uh, but Come I... on, let's put Nipper back on his wheels and I'll tell you all about it. So, uh, what time will the band be arriving, Mr. Jones? The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the band, you say? That's right, the band. The band that's coming to play a concert here. Oh, that band. <laughs> yes. They'll be here any moment, I should think. <laughs> Perhaps some pictures of the farm while we're waiting? Uh, yes, all right, then. Dad's going to be a rock star. Yeah! Come on, Stan, let's get rehearsing. What are we waiting for? Uh, your keyboards. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a bit carried away. Just exactly when do you expect the band to arrive, Mr Jones? No, not for a while yet. Um, um, oh, hang on, this looks like a band. This way, over here. Give me mean and moody. Give me... They are there. No one. This way, Mr. Shutter. No one. Well, I think this concert is going to be quite a success, Tim. Except. Except what, Mr. Jones? I've got a photographer from High Magazine here. I think he might be a little disappointed when he finds out Heavy Chicken have cancelled. Oh, I think he'll be fine when he hears Rockin' Walter and the Wolverines. <laughs> Sounds like Little Red Tractor thinks so, too. Yes. Stan, isn't it about time Little Red Tractor went back to Gosling Farm? There won't be room for him here in the barn when the concert starts. What? You mean... That's right, Stan. Now, if you could move him, chop, chop. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Better get you home. And the dad's playing in the band. Yep. Right, Mr. Jones, time for a few shots of the band. Ah, yes. I'd be meaning to tell you that, um, that, uh, that, that I'd like a couple of pictures of me with my tractor. Local farmer rocks the village sort of thing. Excuse me. Thomas? Thomas! Yes, Uncle Jasper? Could you mind the ticket office for me for a little while? OK. Nervous? Who, me? Nervous? <clears throat> Never. Okay. A one, two. A one, two. You clap your hands. You stomp your feet. You 
Mr. Shutter, snap away! Back a bit, Mr. Jones, back a bit. Uh, a bit further. Just a bit. Karen! What the? The electricity! Who put the, Who put the lights out? What's Who's going on? Who's done the lights in? I'm sure Mr. Jones didn't mean to be rude, little red tractor. Walter, Nicola, I thought. I mean, aren't you supposed to be on stage? Yeah, we were. Mr. Jones and Big Blue cut off the electricity supply. It won't be reconnected for ages. So he asked us to come and ask you to come and collect the equipment. We won't be needing it now. Oh, but that's just terrible. And you were sounding really good, too. Yeah. That noise he's making, it sounds like... like that old generator of yours, Dad. <laughs> The generator, of course. That'd give us enough power for the concert. Nah, it's no good. I tried earlier. It's not working. Well, we can have another go at fixing it, can't we? OK, let's see if that does anything. See? Like I said, it's not working. I think there is a way to get this to pump out some power. That's it. A couple more inches. Now to couple Little Red Tractor to the generator. Right, all done here. And all done here. OK, Little Red Tractor, let's get ready to rock. Scare, water, what? What's going on? The electricity. Well, looks like your concert's going to go on after all, Mr Jones. Stan and Little Red Tractor have fixed my old generator. Lovely. One more, please. And... and another. Uh, this time in profile, if you... Hang on. You're not Heavy Chicken. No, mate. We're Rockin' Water and the Wolverines. Heavy Chicken cancelled. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you because I... Well... Oh, but this is wonderful. Yes, I know. I should have told you before, but... Uh, wonderful? Much better story. Local band fills in at the last moment. The show must go on sort of thing. Uh, Mr Wolverine, if you wouldn't mind. Mind what? Uh, get playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Rocking Walter and the Wolverines. Yeah, great to be here. And we'd like to kick off tonight's show with a song for someone without whom none of this would have been possible. Little Red Tractor, he's king of the field. And his job's done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, woo! Oops. Tickles, does it? It's going to tickle more if you can't keep still. Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. What are you doing? Giving his engine a good clean. A clean engine is a happy engine. But it would seem that it tickles. You know what today is, don't you? No. What? What happened exactly one year ago today? I have no idea. Keep still. It's Little Red Tractor's birthday. We finished restoring him one year ago today. Did I now? Yes. We should have a birthday party. And presents. True, but we have chores to do first. But after the chores... Everyone should have a party on their birthday. I think a party is a great idea, but let's make it a surprise, OK? Great! A pu Shh! It's supposed to be a surprise, silly. Great! A party! Now, I have work to do, so... Leave it to us, Stan. We'll organise everything. It's a deal. Come on, we have work to do. Then we can think about your birthday. See you later, you two. Let's see if Mum will make a cake. And we'll need one candle too, a big one. Oh, get me down! Oh, why do these things?
things always happen to me. Uh, oh, that's better. It stopped. Oh, I can see Gosling Farm from here. You all right, Stumpy? Don't think you should be playing on the sails. I'm not playing. I was cleaning the windows when the sails started up and knocked me off my ladder. Just you hang on there. I have an idea. Well, I'm hardly going to be moving, Stan. Now, I'm going to need you to hold absolutely still, little red tractor. You mustn't move an inch. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't see that there. I'm going to fix the ladder into the trailer to give us some extra height, and then you can climb down, OK? OK, but hurry! Hold still, little red tractor. Where you go, Stumpy? Oh, oh. 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 Thanks, Stan. You too, little red tractor. <laughs> I don't know anyone who has as many accidents as you. <laughs> I do have my moments, don't I? Oh, where's my hat? There. Good as new. Ah, lovely. Peace and quiet. A perfect place for a spot of fishing, eh, Big Blue? <laughs> ah. Hmm. Where shall I sit? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a daisy chain for a little red tractor. I've finished the cake mix. Anyone want to clean out the bowl? Me! Oh, no. Listen to that. He's going to scare off the fish. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, Stumpy, you're going to break your neck on that thing. Nipper's not a thing. You don't call Big Blue a thing, do you? Nah, but Big Blue is useful and works hard for his keep. Well, Nipper's useful too. He makes a lot of noise and throws you all over the place. Ah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll give you that. Anyway, I came by to tell you it's Little Red Tractor's birthday. Oh, that's my hat! What is it now? My hat! You just gave it to the fish! You are the most accident-prone person I have ever met. And if you ask me, having a birthday for a tractor is really quite silly. Oh, I'm sure I can find him a present of some kind. <coughs> I said I would get him something. What now? Uh, you couldn't catch my hat for me first, could you? I came here to catch fish, not a hat. Hello. What have you got there? Food for the... You know what? We can't set it all up with you and Little Red Tractor here. He'll find out about the... You know what? Tell you what, I'll take him around to the garage. I need some wrapping paper anyway. Great. We'll set up the... You, you know, know what? what? One last short trip and then we can finish for the day. Come on, little red tractor, let's go! Faster, Nipper! <laughs> the wind's drawing my hat! Look out! Oh, no! Phew! Well done! I don't know how you missed him. Stumpy? Are you all right? Stumpy? Stumpy? <laughs> Afternoon, Stan. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I was drying my hat. Oh, I've lost it again. There it is, Stumpy. One of these days, Stumpy, you are going to do yourself a mischief on that quad bike. I know. I've already had quite a day for excitement. Listen, I've got Amy and Ryan waiting at the farm. We're going to have a surprise birthday tea for Little Red Tractor. Why don't you and Nipper join us? Oh, 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 we'd love to. I have to pop to the garage. Meet me at Gosling Farm in half an hour. Mm. Hmm. Nearly closing time. Oh, just in time, Stan. We're just about ready to close. Glad I caught you. I need some wrapping paper. No problem. Uh, someone's birthday. Actually, it's Little Red Tractors. 
I finished rebuilding him a year ago today and the kids want to have a surprise party. Oh, what a good idea. Happy birthday, little red tractor. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you wouldn't try to sing, little red tractor. I'll get your wrapping paper and I might have a little present for the birthday boy. Is it your birthday, Stan? No, it's his, but don't get him singing again. Don't listen to him. Happy birthday. Here, have the paper on the house. And here's a small gift from Nicola and me. Well, thank you both. Why don't you join us? Oh, Stan, we'd love to come. I sh uh, stand and chat, but uh, we're going into Babblebrook tonight to see a band. Well, we'd best be off too. Come on, let's go. Tractor. Happy birthday. I made it myself. And we have a cake for you, too. It looks just like you. Now it's time for my present. Stumpy, there's a gift from Walter and Nicola there. Why don't you unwrap it? Oh, my. Look here. Your favourite. What is it? You can unwrap it for Little Red Tractor and then you'll find out. I'll fix these on for you. Thought I might find you all here. Come and join the party. Uh, Stumpy, uh, I was a bit grumpy with you this morning, so I brought you a little gift to say sorry. Huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, thank you. This should keep me out of trouble. <laughs> and this is a little something for the birthday boy from Big Blue and myself. Well, that's very thoughtful. Thank you. Look, a new towing rope for your toolbox. Happy birthday, little red tractor! Please don't sing! <laughs>